Today's video is going to be about Good Die Young in the color Steal My Sunshine. My swatches are labeled 1 through 12, but that is not synonymous with hair levels. I wanted to see if the yellow would do anything to the blue since the blue is so dark. I was hoping maybe it'll turn into a green, but number one is blue, two is pink, three is a natural red, four is black, and then from four to 11, we have a range that goes to platinum blonde. And then number 12 is like the toned version of the number 11. I'll be taking the dye directly from the container and I'll put it at the top of each swatch. Then some people do like to dilute their dyes, so I will be putting the diluted version at the bottom of each swatch. I do just want to say that everyone's hair is different, which means everyone's hair will take dye differently. My only swatch that is virgin hair is the black one, so if you have virgin hair, your hair especially will take dye probably different than my swatches do. Either way, it's best to do as much research as possible when dyeing your hair yourself. For the diluted portion, we're going to be doing a 3 to 1 ratio, so that is 3 parts diluter, 1 part dye. Firstly, I always use a white conditioner when I'm diluting, and secondly, some people are confused by diluter. It's not a developer, so you don't need it to make the dye work. The dye works right out of the container if you'd like it to. There's a variety of reasons why people will dilute their dyes, but essentially it just lightens the color of the dye. I'm gonna let these sit for about three hours. I'll rinse them out when they're dry. I will meet you back here. So I'm surprised mostly with number one. That was the very deep blue. It's probably hard to tell on camera in this lighting, but the yellow definitely did turn it green. And it did turn it on the direct eye and also the diluted part as well. That being said, it pretty much looks like it dyed almost all of the swatches. I'd say number four, as usual, is the only one that wasn't dyed. Number two is interesting. In some lightings, I've noticed so far that it looks like a bright neon-y pink. And then in other lightings, like here, it looks a lot more orange. Number three still looks natural, but it looks a lot less red. There's not a huge difference with number five, but I will say that adding the yellow did seem to help kind of lighten the color a little bit. At least in my opinion, it doesn't look quite as dark as it was before. And then six and seven, I would say it added a little bit of warmth to the hair, but they still look like brown. And then I would say eight and onward look the most yellow versus the darker browns. But I think it's pretty obvious that number 11 is probably what the dye is meant to look like. On the platinum blonde swatch, the yellow comes out a lot more bright and intense, whereas these ones almost look more like a marigoldy kind of yellow where this looks like a sunshine yellow, steal my sunshine, you know? So diluting it is kind of interesting as well. So I would say from here, these three, and then mm, 
these ones too. Diluting it didn't really seem to make a big difference. It almost seems consistently golden down the strand. But then from 9 through 12, the diluted part actually looks a little bit more neon looking, which surprised me a little bit because, at least my bottle, when you squeeze it out, the yellow has bits of orange in the dye. And so I thought this is going to look a lot more like an orangey yellow, even diluted. Um, I would say, especially on number 11, this part, the diluted part, looks like a highlighter yellow. And while it doesn't look quite like highlightery on 10, 11, and 12, there's still an undertone difference. This to me looks more yellow and this looks more orangey yellow. <laughs> As for comparisons, I've actually only done one other yellow so far and that is Arctic Fox in the color Cosmic Sunshine. This is comparable to number 12, number 11, number 10, and number nine. So Cosmic Sunshine from Arctic Fox also did a similar thing where it dyed pretty much all of the swatches except number four. But to see the undertone differences the most, I thought it would be best just to see the lighter blonde swatches. So right off the bat, it's pretty obvious to me at least, Cosmic Sunshine definitely has more of that orangey yellow look versus Steal My Sunshine is much brighter. I would say on the darker blonde swatches, the Cosmic Sunshine almost looks like a golden color, whereas compared to the Steal My Sunshine, Steal My Sunshine does look a lot more yellow. Number 11 for the Cosmic Sunshine also looks the most intentional, I would say, even though it does look good on the darker swatches as well. When it's diluted, I would say it still kind of holds that warm yellow look. And it definitely does not look quite as highlightery as the Steal My Sunshine on the diluted part. Since I don't have any other comparisons, I guess I will compare number two, because I do have a pink swatch for Cosmic Sunshine as well. And number three, the natural red. The number three swatch for Cosmic Sunshine definitely still looks more like a natural red than the Steal My Sunshine does. And I'm assuming that's because the Cosmic Sunshine has a lot more warmth to the dye on its own. And kind of a similar idea with number two as well. While they both look orange, I think the Cosmic Sunshine one looks a tad bit more pink. Now that we are finished with our comparisons, I'd like to get into the close-ups. And I will just say, when I do the close-ups and the pictures at the end of the video, that is all filmed in natural lighting.
I hope this video helped. If you have a request, I do have a link below to a Google form you can fill out. Just remember, I only do dyes that do not test on animals. Thank you so much to my patrons and thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.